everybody, Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're gonna talk through some best practices when you're working with databases. So the biggest thing to remember is that a database starts with a base table. The table with all your stuff in it that you can then transform and do formulas afterwards. The key is to get all your stuff in one spot or as few spots as possible. So starting with that table. Now, remember, a table, how do you know what your base table should be? A table is a list of nouns, rows, and adjectives, columns. So for example, here we've got the thing we're tracking, then all of the adjectives about it, the person who's in charge of it, the date it's gonna happen, and the status. So a table is just nouns and adjectives. The next thing to remember is that now that you have a base table, it's time to build views. You can create views of that base table information and filter it to your heart's content. Change how it looks, adjust what's inside. Now, the thing about views is that remember, if you make a change in one spot, like this is now on hold, it's gonna hold true everywhere else. So those views, it's the same detail, we're just seeing it slightly differently. Make as many views as you think you're going to need to answer those questions. Then, remember that formatting should happen on views, not your base table. Keep that base table nice, clean, don't add conditional formatting, don't add any extra bells and whistles, don't add any sorts. All of that can happen on views, so that base table information is always that purest form of the data. The next thing to remember is that the views will change, right? Here I've got a view of that task table. I've decided to see it in a card view this way, but the information does not, right? All of that data in your base table is gonna stay the same. Views just change how it looks or change what we're showing. But all of the data, no matter where you make the update, is going to hold true, because it's the same stuff just in a different space and in a different outfit. Then always thinking about having fewer base tables, as few base tables as possible, and more views, right? Nobody wants to duplicate their information, so you have to make changes in three, four, five spaces. A mistake will happen if that occurs. That's why we want that base table with all the core information, and then use our views to filter and change how we see it, so that we're not having to put people through a bunch of duplicative effort, because no one will have time for that and every duplication is a chance for a mistake. Last, remember that everything has a name. Tables, columns, rows, they have names. You can call on them and you can change your mind. If you change the name of a table, all of your formulas will have that table name changed too. That's the beauty of the database model, is it's more stable because you have that core information that you can then be transforming as you're moving through your day. So those are the best practices. Now it's your turn. Take a look at your databases, explore, see where you might be able to make some changes, and see the magic that happens. I'll see you next time.